In this video, I will show how I did the epoxy inlay on this music box. The flower is made by drilling holes with Forstner bits. I use the template that's shown on the screen. There are five holes drilled for the petals and one hole drilled for the center of the flower. The holes are drilled approximately one quarter inch deep. This template is available on my website, snowdenwoodshop.com. I begin by marking where the holes will be drilled. I drill the holes using my drill press. In this case, I'm using a 3 quarter inch Forstner bit. I have the drill press set to limit the depth of the hole to 1 quarter inch. The template found on my website has three different sizes for the flowers. The one I'm showing is for 3 quarter inch, but there's one for 1 inch holes and another one for one and a quarter inch holes. The final hole removes the excess material from the middle of the flower. Now we are ready to add the epoxy. Now it's time to mix the epoxy. First I measure out the resin and add it to a cup. And then I measure out the hardener and I add that to the resin. Then you thoroughly mix the hardener and the resin together. Now it's time to add the color. In this case I'm adding a blue color to my epoxy. Now we will add the epoxy to the flower. If you notice, I had painted my flower black. That wasn't necessary. I, I thought there would be a need to have a dark background, but that, that was totally unnecessary because my epoxy was a deep dark blue color. There was no transparency whatsoever. So you add, keep adding the epoxy to the flower and actually it'll go up above the level of the wood a little bit because you'll sand that off after it dries so just keep adding it till it goes up over the top of the of the wood then allow it to dry for 24 hours this is what it looked like after drying for 24 hours as you can tell the epoxy kind of ran over the other part of the wood but that's really no big deal because you can sand it off I used my palm sander and I sanded for quite a while but it did come off uh, I think I used 80 grit or 60 grit sandpaper eventually I used 120 and then 220 sandpaper to get to the final result Now I don't have video of this, but at that point, after sanding the blue flower part, I went back to the drill press and drilled a hole in the middle of the flower. I then mixed up the epoxy, added a yellow color to it, and poured that over the flower. I then went through the same sanding process to get the yellow to be flat with the blue. I used that board that now had the flower inlay and I used it in the music box that's shown on the screen. This is the inside of the music box. I used the same process to do the music box shown here. In this case, I used a snowflake template and I carved out the snowflake and then I added the epoxy tinted blue and sanded it down the same way and this is what it turned out to look like. 
The blue line around the music box is also an epoxy inlay. This is the template I used to carve the snowflake. I bought a music box off of uh, eBay. It was for the movie Frozen. I was able to take the insides out of that music box and put them into my music box. When the lid is opened, Anna and Elsa spin around and the music from the song Let It Go is played. <laughs> 